Alright, welcome back. This is M Dog. And uh, we're just here at Mosquito Lake. We're just going to throw out some red worms here. Mostly we're just trying to do some float fishing. But I figure we might as well have one feeder out. We've got this, like I just said, a little 8 meter clip. Just kind of right out here in the in the reeds where we're going to be float fishing. Uh, just see if we can get anything here. We're going to be at 1 meter. That float rod has uh, double sandwich bait red worm. This one has just single red worm. Just want to see what all we can, uh, what if anything we can get biting here. Just thought I'd just get back to the basics here and try a little float fishing at Mosquito. So we are using a seven pound and eight pound fluorocarbon line. You could use mono, probably at Mosquito wouldn't make too much of a difference. And we have size 16 hooks on both with red worm. And then on the feeder, we're up to a size 12 hook with red worm. And I just literally threw on some kind of random ground bait that's got some cheese, poor. I'll probably change that just to a basic like crucian gibble or roach, some kind of basic ground bait. Uh, we're just, you know, hoping to catch some roach or Chinese sleepers here. Looks like we're getting nibbles on both. Let's see which one goes first. Not sure what all we'll catch here, but I uh, just thought we'd give it a try. See what's up with the, the little dock here at Mosquito. Well, we're getting nibbles on both floats. So this can only end in disaster, right? See which one's going to actually take it first. Looks like the feeder is going off, but that should wait for us. These these will not wait, so we need to see what happens here. Long nibbles. All right, let's see if we can't tease this into, yeah, oh, no, it came out. All right. Let's just see what we've got here on the feeder. It's a perch. That is that is not is not the desired fish. And they the perch should stop biting as it gets a little later, I would think. All right, let's see if we can get this one back out there. All right, we'll go ahead and get ready. This one is still a little active. Well, as soon as you put it in, it starts getting little bites on it, doesn't it? Let's see, we're actually catching. That looks like a decent roach, doesn't it? Oh, it's a gibble. That's why it looks so fat. All right, so we got a gibble. And I can't believe how long this that float has been getting a nibble for so long. There's another perch. Yeah, we ought to change this ground bait. Uh, that's just a... Actually, I'm not sure what we want to do ground bait wise. Let me think about it for a minute. If we have a second that these aren't going under, I'll just make a, a ground bait. Uh, mosquito. And we'll do just crackers. We still okay on those? Yeah crackers with um, maybe some uh, blood worm chopped worm and some red worm feed pellets times two so we're leaning just heavy into the worm flavorings We probably lost a, uh, a fish by now on float, but at least it's ready now. We can throw those out a little bit, and we can also put those in our uh, 
in our feeder basket. All right, so now let's go find our mosquito ground bait. And let's just throw a couple out. Oh, I think we're getting, oh, not that one. Getting a good bite here. Eh, it looks like a crucian. All right, so we're catching some fish. We're getting a little float action going. And let's see if we can just easily toss these right out here. Kind of to where we're going to be casting. We'll start off with five. All right. We pulled that one too quick. May be pretty slow overnight, but I'm hoping we'll get something decent first thing in the morning. 3.30, 4 a.m., something like that. All right, I gotta remember the little float. The little float is our number one, and it definitely seems to be getting the better bite uh, than the sandwich bait, for what that's worth. There's another gibble. No lucky float points, though. Would love to see us get a point in float fishing. We're only at 93.9. Still have some leveling to do. Well, we just got a record, weekly record UL Crucian Carp. That's funny. Yeah, it looks like the sandwich bait is just slowing down the, the bite rate for some reason. Yeah, so it looks like we're seeing Crucian, Gibble, Roach, and I believe that we will also eventually see a Chinese sleeper or two if we're patient. That's the theory at least. And this has been getting the faster bite rate, so I'll just hold it so we can be a little more focused on the the little short and stubby float. It's a little harder to see. Both of these do have floating tips on it. Uh, glowing tips, I mean. So it's a little easier to see them when the flashlight's on. Kind of glows off the top of those floats. So if you're going to try to float fish at night, it gives you a little bit better vis visibility. Alright, nice healthy bite again. So we're two for two on Roach. And unless you're, unless I'm fishing for carp using match rods or something like that, two float rods at the same time is about all I like to do. I, I, if I'm gonna have a third rod out, I'll probably just put a feeder rod out for my third, but some people might uh, might feel comfortable with with using um, using three float, but it's just a little much for me. Now we definitely need to hold this one this time because we've got it in those weeds. So I will not be able to see it as good if I look away for a second. So we'll hold this one. See if the bite's any sharper down here, a little closer to the weeds. For whatever reason, on that second float, we have not been getting uh, much activity. Maybe it's a little too far out there. Is that one meter or is that too shallow? It's too shallow. No nibbles going on? Not yet. It is 2.30 in the morning. I, I mean, it, it may be pretty slow till the sun starts coming up a little bit.
But I was just trying to find, think of a find a place that might be reasonable, especially for new players just starting out. You got to do some float fishing just to even save up to get your first feeder set. So I knew that sometimes this spot over here, there's a nice little fish. A nice white bream. So now we're catching a little bit of everything here. Let's go right back in these weeds. Uh, it's a little short. Is that going to be? Yeah, that works. That works, and we can see that pretty good. And we're just at one meter depth here. And we're still not getting any bites on this one. It's got the seven pound line. I'm trying to think if there's any differences. I mean, we could go down to five pound, I guess. We could also put this one on fixed float. Both of them are on slider, but we're, we're, we're fishing so shallow, slider really isn't necessary. So we'll put it on fixed float. So we've got one on fixed and one on slider. It looks like our favorite little stubby floats getting another nibble again. I don't like the way that one's sitting. Is it not quite... Is it snagged or is it just not on bottom fully? It looks like a fish is messing with it though. The fish is also messing with the other one again. Oh, good old float fishing at Mosquito. Starting to get bites again. It's that time of day. Is this one active? We definitely got something on our feeder. It's another perch. Now that the uh, sun's coming up, the perch will come out again too. I don't know that it's ever a good idea to float fish at Mosquito unless you just have to. At least for me, like I was saying in the last video, it is it just requires a special kind of patience. The gibble and the crucian and even the roach to a degree, the way that they nibble, uh, it, it's hard to really distinguish uh, unless you're just super patient. I mean, sometimes if you really wait it out, you'll eventually see a bite and you'll know that it's like legitimate, but um, it does just require so much patience. I just need to check the, the depth on that second one. It just looks like that floats not ever like sitting appropriately. Oh man. I really wanted us to see like one, one sleeper at least. One nice thing is because we're using, um, we're actually using, oh, that's the problem. The float depth is just too deep on this one 
because we're using two different rigs, maybe that gives us a little better chance of hitting a point and float fishing. I don't know. Well, that's a reasonable sized fish. That's a big gibble. On red worms. And obviously there's probably other baits that work even better. I just really wanted to see how red worms in particular was going to do here. And mostly on float was the, was the idea. Getting it farther and farther out there. I don't know if the bites will be as strong that far out, but I'm tired of staring at those reeds. Oh, we finally got one. Yes. I was hoping we could find the old sleeper. They are especially active, like sometimes a little earlier than this, but like early in the mornings, it feels like you might see a sleeper or two show up. Oh my goodness, the perch. Perch love their worm stuff, especially here at Mosquito. Most places you see perch when you're trying to spin fish or troll or whatever. Mosquito, if you start using worms though, especially at certain parts of day, that's where you'll start seeing a lot of perch as well. Alright. These fish are just mocking me now. Well, we got one sleeper at least. I do think the best bite rate has been when we have cast it more into these weeds over here though. Another sleeper. This one on feeder though. That's pretty cool.
I think the uh, little one just disappeared, didn't it? Oh, yeah. We caught a fish on the little one. Yeah, the sleepers are just really active all of a sudden right here. Which is great. I love catching Chinese sleepers. I felt like there was one on. It's just small. A little roach. I don't see the float. Oh, there it is. Push it way up in the air. That's funny. Uh, how to interpret the different fish bites. It's tough. Especially with these species. little bit easier when you have a big float like that one the little short and stubby one it's hard to tell what's going on whoa mama what is this daggum Oh, we got perch on float that time. Let's just reset this one. Even a bream. We have caught so many different species in this one little spot on the same bait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven different species. Oh, we got a point in float fishing. What do you know? All of the misery was worth it. All of the missed bites. I can't tell if there's a fish on that float. I think there is. It's just small. No, there's not. Oh, I love it. Fat sleepers. Look at those big mouths. Those are great. Where's the other one? I know this one's getting... Oh, there it is. Okay, that one's not getting a nibble. This one is... We got him. We got him. Okay. Still nothing. Oh, a little bit. A little bit of action. All right, well, there you have it. Float fishing for Chinese sleepers and a little bit of everything else here at Mosquito. Uh, you know, we'd eventually get there on the Crucian. Certainly the white bream 
we'd have to target them a little more uh, accurately to ever get to that. We can do the sleeper order. They're not worth anything anyway, so we might as well do nine silver for three sleepers. Yeah, that perch order, would, unfortunately, would get there too. And just for the filling up the cafe orders, we might as well do that one as well. So a couple of orders, not too shabby. Uh, no real silver to be made doing this, but uh, you can certainly have some fun, level up your float fishing. And, you know, if you're new to the game, then, uh, you know, what seems like no silver to a seasoned player who, you know, does carp fishing and all that. For a new player, those cafe orders and selling a few fish like that actually does uh, actually does add up pretty quick. Help you to afford those those early uh, kits that you can buy for feeder fishing, float fishing, whatever you're getting into. Anyway, there are uh, there's a way to catch some sleepers and do a little float fishing here at Mosquito. As always, I appreciate you watching. I just wanted to do something very basic tonight. I'm um, um, wanting to really try to add some variety when I do a RF4 video. Get away from just kind of doing the same thing every time. I'm sure I'll still have the desire to go try to check out the carp spots and stuff here and there. But um, yeah, I want to mix it up some. Maybe do some... Uh, what I really, another thing I'm wanting to do, and we'll see if we have time sometime in the next day or two, but kind of want to do like a, a beginner's video to trolling Corey. I've done that before, but um, I really feel like a lot of folks, when they kind of get into the early game of feeder fishing, crucian, gibbles, roach, and then they start moving up, maybe doing bream here, at, maybe at Mosquito, certainly at Old Berg, uh, and then it's trying to figure out how do I transition if I want to start doing some trolling at Cory? So maybe looking at some like starter trolling options uh, for gear to be looking at and that kind of thing. So I don't know, something that we've uh, we've got in the in the possibilities for the, for the coming days. But hope everyone's having a good time fishing uh, tight lines, and and I will see you next time. Peace out.